What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel or if you <laughs> if you've been subscribed for some time, as you can see, my background looks a little bit different and just wanted to give you guys a life update as kind of what what the heck where I've been at, what happened with the channel, why I haven't uploaded and really the direction of the channel. I'm going to address all of that today. So as you can see, I have a new background. Um, it's not the same background that I used to have. And that is because I officially live in Mexico City. I'm done with the move. Well, not officially yet. I mean, things have been kind of up in the air so far with as far as kind of getting my getting all my stuff here, my desk, everything's still kind of missing. But for the most part, I'm here. My documentation, my immigration status, my citizenship, everything's kind of gone through in the past two or three months have just been extremely hectic in my life. I, I've just felt so all over the place. I, I really haven't felt like, I don't know, I've just been kind of, again, just all over the place. And I hate feeling like that. I feel like the more, the less, uh, I don't know, maybe I've just developed or cultivated this person that I am now. But the more of all over the place I am, the less I am without my routine, the less I know what I'm going to be doing each and every day, the more I just get anxious. I just don't really know where I'm going. My direction is just all over the place. But now that I'm settled in, I've been here two or three weeks and I'm finally feeling like a little bit of myself. I'm, I'm getting a back a part of me that I left back in LA. I'm getting here in Mexico. It's been an incredible experience so far. And now that I'm finally getting into my routine, I found a gym. There's so many things things that I'm just so happy and grateful now. And, you know, today is, is Sunday and I was just thinking, you know, I, I started thinking about my YouTube channel and how much it meant to me and how much I've been feeling like a part of me is just missing. Although I'm super happy with, you know, where I'm at now in my career and being able to live in a different country has been just life changing and just something that I never in a million years would have imagined that I'd be doing. But with that, I think that there's a part of me that is still a little bit frustrated with myself and it's still a little bit uneasy kind of with where I'm at on my own personal goals and my hobbies. And one thing being this YouTube channel, when I started this YouTube channel, I... um I didn't really know what to expect or I didn't really know why I started it. I just know I wanted to help people that were below me and I feel like I kind of lost a little bit of that of that sense. I lost and this video is going to be a total rant, okay? I literally have no script. I, I just wanted to give you guys an update, uh, kind of where I've been, what the heck's going on. And yeah, again, I just, how I've been feeling the past three months of kind of why I've just haven't uploaded a video, why I've been gone. And yeah, it's really just kind of transitioning into this new life. And kind of with that, I realized, and finally that today I had a little bit of downtime, even though I have to travel to Chicago tomorrow. <laughs> again, sorry if this video is a super rad and I apologize, but again, I, I really don't have any script. I just wanted to update you guys. Um, being able to sit back today and just you know be in my own thoughts after the gym, I just kind of sat down in my desk. I finally listed out the goals that I have for this coming year, um, the routine I'm building, where I want to be at professionally, personally, this YouTube channel came to mind. And I will say that the past three to four months, I felt like I lost sense of why I even started it. I got really consumed with sometimes like how many followers I was having or how many subscribers or sometimes being discouraged with the amount of views. Some videos did well, some didn't. And I don't know. I was just all over the place and I, I lost sense of why I started this whole thing, why it's become what it is now. And, and it really, at the end of the day was to help the person that I was when I was starting out my career in public accounting, me being a first generation Mexican kid with immigrant parents, it was, it was very difficult for me to adjust to corporate life. I mean, no one in my family had ever had a corporate job. Um, you know, my dad was a welder, my mom cut hair. So it, and, and there was very honorable professions, but they were very just hardworking blue collar people. And I really had no direction when I started working. And that being said, I, when I started this YouTube channel, my goal, goal was to help the younger version of myself. It really was. It was to, I would sit down and say, all right, what would, what did I need? What person did I need when I was that 21, 22 year old kid starting at this big firm in the big city? Even though, you know, I grew up 40 miles eastbound of LA, I had never been there. And that to me now blows my mind as, you know, now being a little bit older and being able to think back in hindsight. But I lost sense of that. And I think that's why I lost motivation. And I, you know, it's, it's crazy how I would, 
And then maybe this happens to you and maybe you can relate, but I would tell myself, yeah, you know, this Saturday I'm going to script and I'm going to film and edit and I'm going to do all these things. And one Saturday turned into, I'll do it next weekend. And then next weekend turned into three weeks and three weeks turned into four weeks and four weeks turned into two months and two months turned into four. And next thing I know, I'm just like, it's November. (laughs) And I, I looked at my channel today and I just was just a little disappointed in myself on how maybe I had to let some of you down or maybe even let more than anyone let myself down because at the end of the day, this is something that I I truly and intimately believe that I can impact the world through accounting. <laughs> I, know, I know that sounds really stupid and I know that's maybe not the, the coolest thing, but you know, now that I'm getting older, I'm 31 and I just, I can't believe that that's not old by any means. Not at all. I feel super young, but it's also not 21 and I can now assess kind of where I'm at professionally. I'm more than happy with where I am financially. I've been able to make super good decisions in my early years and, and really just thinking about what I want to do with this channel. Where do I want it to go? What's the purpose of it? And it really goes back to I genuinely believe, and maybe this is, I don't know, me being stupid or I don't know, maybe I'm just thinking, but I genuinely believe my passion or my, my, my passion, my purpose is to impact the world through this channel. I know it sounds super dumb, but I, I genuinely believe that. I, I just, I meditated, I prayed on it. I was like, God, what the heck is this for? Like, it's not, it can't be for the vanity of it because of the likes or the comments or the subscribers or, or anything like that. And obviously from a financial perspective, sure, I would, you know, one day, um, like to make a certain amount of money from it too. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's not, I, I, did accounting because it was a highly paid skill and thankfully I've been able to do well for myself. And if I can build other streams of income because of that skill that I built, I'm going to do it. Uh, but that being said, the, the, the main priority is really to, to impact individuals on a, on a personal and professional level to help them change their lives through this thing that we're all here to do, which is accounting. And although that seems really dumb, I really thought about it and I said, no, that's, you know, in my head, it does seem ridiculous at times, but then sometimes I'm like, no, wait, well, I now live in a whole country in the country that my parents immigrated from. I'm now living back here in a completely different socioeconomic status. I am living my dream today. And it's literally just because, and it all comes down to the fact that I know that debits are on the left and credits are on the right. That's really what it comes down to. There, there, I would not be here if 10, 11, however many years ago, I decided to sit for my, sit for my CPA exam, pass all four parts on the first try. Yes, I'm totally gonna, <laughs> I'm totally gonna plug myself, but yeah, I passed all four parts on the first try. I got promoted super quick at my firm. I did everything I needed to do with no end in sight, really. I just had a goal that, hey, may, maybe one day, uh, you know, I wanna be a partner one day at this firm and, and so many things, but never did I ever imagine that I would live the life I'm living now. Absolutely not. I, I genuinely sometimes am having dinner in like the nicest part of, of Mexico city. And I am like, where the hell am I at? Like, why am I here out of all people in this world? Like, why me? Why did this happen to me? And I genuinely believe that I am doing a disservice to the accounting community, to the world. And maybe you can resonate with this message as well. If I don't live up and if I don't share my experiences and pass it on to the next generation, I, I really am, am not fulfilled in, in what I do if I don't do this. And I've, I've started to realize that I teaching accounting and teaching people about, I don't want to say life, but just certain life experiences that I've gone through that have put me in the very position that I'm in today is something that I have to share. I I need to do it. Uh, Without it, I just, I don't feel complete. Even from a financial perspective, from, from an emotional perspective, it's something that I realize that I need to do. And I'm going to do that through this channel 100%. Um, The level of messages that I've received in the past few weeks that have really just motivated me and got me back in the right track as far as where I want to take this channel, what I want to do, how I want to spend it. And I'm genuinely, and and I know it's very difficult, especially in the social media world, but I'm generally not going to pay attention to, obviously the comments, if you guys need help, definitely, but the views and all that stuff, I'm going to put content out that I feel can genuinely help you. And 
what one thing that I feel like has I've been getting a ton of messages just this past week are the audit videos. The audit videos audit videos are something that I absolutely love making. I love doing them because I genuinely feel like there's no other video like it out on YouTube where someone genuinely walks you through how to do an audit work paper. And that's something that again, I'm passionate about, but this channel is only going to be for people that are maybe starting their careers. Maybe if they're a little bit more senior, I've been doing it now for 10 years and I can definitely tell you there's a lot of things that I encountered later in my career that also I feel like I help with. So I guess all in all, it's really just kind of getting back to basics as to why the heck I started this whole thing. And and I've really been thinking about it. And and a part of me even thought about, Hey, you know what? Like nobody cares. Like it's not really this, this channel is not, you know, something that, um, is gonna, I don't know, it's making that big of an impact or so I thought, um, maybe I just kind of say, Hey, you know, I'm just gonna live my life and not do this thing. Cause it does take time. But I genuinely feel like the past few months without it or without having a routine, without having my scripting on Saturday mornings after the gym, without, you know, filming videos and having calls with you guys, without that, I just don't feel like I'm I'm complete. I really don't. And I don't know. And, and maybe again, this is probably this is a total rant and I don't even know how long this video is gonna be, but I, yeah, I, I don't feel like I can live without this channel or some type of format of it, whether it's me teaching in person or me teaching online, I have to do it because it's just something that I feel genuinely a part of me is calling me to do. And the day that, you know, whatever, I can't do it because of X, Y reasons, so be it. But for now, I am going to take this channel to the next level. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't have my computer yet because, uh, well, you know, my the, all the delivery is going to come in in the next, I'm hoping by November 15th. But for now, if you guys can bear with me and you guys can, if you enjoy these type of videos where I literally sit on my new couch and my, I did not pick any of the aesthetics of it, but they, they'll do for now. Um, if you guys enjoy this, leave me a comment below on anything you want me to discuss or any topic you want me to talk about. Again, I can't really do anything on, on a computer because I'm not going to have it for two weeks and I have a little bit of travel in the coming weeks. But that being said, I'm super excited for what's to come. I'm definitely going to make a whole audit series where my goal on this channel is someone three years from now that's just starting in public accounting can look at this channel and say, oh my gosh, I need to audit prepaid. Boom. There's a whole video series on it. Hey, I need to audit revenue. There's a whole video series on it. How to talk to a client. Man, I'm having a discussion about that. Boom. It's right there. My The website that I'm currently that I've been lagging so, so, so long to drop that's gonna have all the resources and templates that you need from a financial perspective, whether you're building up your, you're saving up to buy your first rental property, because in my opinion, again, I think financial literacy and being financially free and being financially savvy is gonna help you in your professional career because you're able to make decisions and you're able to take opportunities because of that. And and there's so many things, but but I'm here to say that this channel is going to be a one-stop shop for young professionals in the accounting world that are helping, that are hoping to ex- extend and propel their career to the next level. So that being said, I'm going to end the rant here. Um, I'm super excited for what's to come. I can't tell you guys how thrilled and how happy I am now to be back in my routine, to be to be in this new city. Uh, it's something that, again, I, I never thought I would you know, move back to the country my parents immigrated from. And, and it's something that's really special to me. And it's something that I don't necessarily know if I can articulate the way it makes me feel, but there's so many things that are going to happen and I'm excited for what's to come with this channel to help each and every one of you reach all of your personal and professional goals. And if there's anything you want me to talk about over the next two or three weeks that could be done through this kind of more podcast format type of video, please let me know in the comments. Until next time, you know what it is. Work hard, dress well, peace.